4.30 in the morning right now, guys. I'm so pumped, though. We're going to catch some big old smallies. That's the whole goal in the day. For real, though, it's literally 45 degrees. What the heck? It's like freaking May 27th out here, dog. And it's 45 degrees in the morning. Come on now, Michigan. Warm up. Yeah, we're, doing, we're pulling up to the ramp with our bass boats, too. Just like <laughs> the 15 other bass anglers right now. But that's fine. We're going to slay them, too. Out here on the big water today, Lake St. Clair, I have probably the worst and most janky kayak that you could ever use on this lake. But we're going to make it work. It's like two mile per hour winds. So we're going to fish until I get blown off the water. Then we're going to call it a day. But hopefully we can land some big old smallmouth. I got a tube on right back there, as you can tell, because that is apparently the smallmouth juice. I have like never used one in my entire life. I usually use drop shots. But today I'm going to try to do something different, switch it up and see if we can both catch some good old St. Clair Smallies. All right, first spot, we're gonna go out to this little 10 foot flat out here. There's a bunch of rocks and structure everywhere around here. So we're just gonna cast around and see if we can catch a freaking large, I mean, Smallie. Last time I caught a largey though somehow, but it's fine. It has been a tad bit of a cold front. The water temp is three degrees colder than it was last time I came out here, which is kind of crazy, but you never know. Oh, there's a fish. Yep, yes sir, come here, bud. Oh my gosh, it's a little dinker. But we got the first smallie of the day, folks. Let's go. I mean, even though he's like a freaking one pounder, he is still pulling, because these fish just freaking dig on this lake, dude. All right, come here, bud. All right, all right. Oh my goodness, dude. Come here, bud. Little tiny small jaw, let's go. All right, folks, that is what you love to see right there. First smallie of the day came off that nice tube right there. It was actually probably like the first fish I've ever caught on a tube, so that's what you like to see. We're doing new tactics today, and it is getting the job done. All right, buddy. See you later. Kevin was waiting for this moment. I caught a fish, so that means he can start eating his food, and he's never going to cast another line the whole day. He packed like a freaking five-course meal over there and brings it out and just eats the whole time. It's really amazing. It's an amazing thing. You got one? Oh no, I crossed your line. All right, we're good, we're good. Bro, caught one. Let's go. Mouthful of food. Oh, I caught one. Dude, that's a good one though. Just as I finished eating my rice cake and my delicious strawberries. Oh, assortment of berries should I add. I had raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. Oh, it was actually blackberries, my bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. These freaking boat waves, dude. And I caught me this nice smallie. All right, got him on a drop shot. And yeah, we're gonna let him go and hopefully catch some more smallies. It's kind of rude for him to interrupt my breakfast, don't you think? There we go, it's been like 25 minutes, not even, and we've already caught two. That's what you like to see. Hopefully we can pop up some more numbers for the rest of the day. Just keep cranking them, y'all. Just keep cranking them. Oh man, gonna have freaking soggy sandwiches, dude. Good thing they're in bags. Dude, I need a freaking new kayak or a new boat or something. This thing's not gonna cut it anymore, man. Oh, you slaying them, boy? Oh, wow, Kevin's slaying him there on a drop shot. I might gotta switch up. Oh my gosh, whoa, oh. Oh, oh. Hold on, brother. Getting a little choppy now. Oh my, oh, do you see that? Look at, ah! Look at this guy's eyes, bro. You see it moving? He's I mean. Staring at me. They do have eyes. Oh, that's a beast of a little small jaw. Anyways, got little feisty Skippy James here. It was a long time without a bass. I was like half asleep. I don't know how I caught it. He was barely hooked. But we got him in, we're gonna let him go, and hopefully we can get on some more small. But I mean, hey, it's a day, such a beautiful day out here. You can see all these, all these fishermen. Like, this is Memorial Weekend right here in Michigan. You got one, buddy? Yes, sir. Dude, it's been a minute. All right, I think I, think I gotta tie the drop shot. Or I might try the netty. He got off. Oh no, we didn't land them. Although I might switch up from the tube since it's been quite a minute without getting a bite. So maybe they're not feeling this thing. Might switch up to a little med rig, something a little bit smaller. I mean, the tubes are already pretty small, but we're out here for the dinks. That's what we're going for today. Oh wait, there's a... 
Shut up, bro. Freaking seaweed? Are you kidding me? I just get freaking snagged on weeds. Think I have one. And these dudes behind me just caught one. This is how the day's going. It's been a rough day so far, y'all. I just can't freaking catch a fish. I mean, I'm trying different baits, different depth, different structures. Ain't getting nothing to work here. Oh. Wait, do we... <laughs> No way! <laughs> we both said that <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I 100% thought I had one. I was like, no way, we just doubled. <laughs> yeah, I just hear you go, oh wait. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> you need freaking crank it. <laughs> I, I, I thought I had one. I 100% hands down thought I had one right there. About how the day's going though. Do I just do it? Do I just throw on the net rig and just, when all else fails, you just pull out the net rig, dude. It's gonna work. If I don't get one on the net rig, then I'm just gonna quit fishing. Yes, sir, the net rig came in clutch, dude. The net rig comes in clutch. It's a freaking rock bass. <laughs> of course it is. Well, I mean, that is what the net rig would catch, is a little rock bass right there. I mean, I'll take them. It's been a struggle today. I've been freaking catching absolutely nothing. So I will definitely take a chunk rock bass right there. I mean, that's definitely a beautiful one, but yeah, it's been a struggle. Ned rig comes in clutch with the little dinker. We're gonna send you on your way, buddy. Oh, yep. Yep, dude, we just double. Yes, sir. <laughs> you lost it, no. We are about to just double. <laughs> I thought we hooked our lines again. Oh my gosh, he's digging, dude. Finally, another small jaw. Oh my goodness, look at him go. I don't even know what just happened. Did we like hook the same fish? And then like... <laughs> Keep digging. That's a decent one, dude. I know. Oh my gosh, guys. This freaking feels so amazing. Finally catch another small jaw on the day. If I can land him. Oh, whoa, 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 calm down. Whoa, 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 buddy. Oh my gosh, guys, it's been like freaking four hours since I caught my first smallmouth, which was like five minutes into the day, but we finally did it. All it took was switching up to the good old Nedrig right there. But look at this beautiful, beautiful little bronzy right here. He's got a gash on his tail. I wonder what did that to him. But poor little buddy right there. Hopefully he heals up just fine. It's gotta be like, I don't know, that looks like some sort of like infection. I thought you dropped something important in the water. It's just your paddle. All right. Oh. He went away quicker than I thought, but he was ready to go. All right, dude, I'm now satisfied on the day. But we're gonna keep cranking around for probably like 30 more minutes and then call it a day. Hopefully we can get some more. There it is, got him. Yes, sir, dude, we freaking found him now, folks. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, he's digging. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Down to the depths, dude. I freaking love these dang small jaws. It is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at the way they pull, dude. They just don't stop. They just don't ever stop. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, he's running. He's running. Just kidding, I just loosened the drag. Anyways, they do freaking pull just so much. Come here, bud. He ain't even that big. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> he's getting me tangled. <laughs> All right, all right. Up he goes. Look at that little bronzy dude. We are, we found him now. It only took us like four hours about here, but we got the spot. And dude, that's probably a nice, like solid one and a half pound smolly right there. But even one his size just fights so dang hard. I know I said it a lot this video, but they really just do. I absolutely love smallmouth. Like they are such a blast to catch. Back down he goes. All right, dude, let's get some more. I'm freaking pumped right now. We found him. Holy crap. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, it's gonna crash. Oh, 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 oh. I'm terrified. Oh my gosh, what was that boat? What even came by? Where are these from? That literally, I was about to, I, was, I thought I was done for. Oh wait, there's another one, dude. Literally freaking slaying these smallies right now, dude. What in the world? Oh my goodness. 
We found him, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at the way he's bowling. I was like struggling. I was like, dude, but let's just get one more. And now I've caught three more. Like, oh gosh, dude. It's all it took was the Ned Rig, dude. That's all it took was the Ned Rig. It's a little dinkers, but he is bowling. Up he goes. Oh. Oh, beautiful, beautiful little St. Clair Smalley, dude. We are slamming them right now, dude. I'm having an absolute blast. I love these guys so much. They're just so much fun to catch. I just can't get over it. It's just, it's amazing. It really, truly is. It is such a beautiful day. It really turned around since the morning. It was really cold and windy in the morning, and now it's calm and sunny and blue skies, and we're slamming Smalley's, dude. The day turned around real quick. Anyways, we're gonna let this freaking bronzy go. Back down to the depths. Let's get some more, I guess. Oh wait, there's another one, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez, he's flying. Oh my gosh. That guy came up on bit out of absolutely nowhere. Dude, we freaking found him. Oh my goodness. I just can't get over these fish. They are just so much fun. Down he goes. He is not done yet. We're gonna let you fight. Weigh yourself out a little bit. And then we'll bring you up, man. Yeah, dude, the Ned Rig's where it's at. The Ned Rig is putting in the work right now. This is Smalley number five on the day, dude. Oh my gosh. It just, it went from zero to hero here real quick when I put the Ned Rig on. Dude, I freaking love this little thing. It is getting the job done. That's all I got to say. All right, buddy. Send you back. Thanks. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. It actually felt nice. It's kind of hot. Oh, yep. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Dinky boy. I knew it. I knew he was gonna be in there. What is it? Oh, that's a baby largie, no way. <laughs> Dude, that is so cute. I wanna take him home and put him in my fish tank. That is adorable. I'm really out here catching toads, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh my goodness, that is a big one. I thought it was a rock bass, but no. It's baby largie. All right, buddy, I appreciate your bite. We're gonna send a little, oh yeah, do a little back for us. Dude, that is so cute. Well, now off the water here, and that was an amazing day out there. The Ned Rig just absolutely slays those St. Clair smallmouth, and it just, it just does. That's all I have to say. If you guys go out there or fish for smallmouth anywhere, the Ned Rig is always a great choice. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really freaking love Ned Rigs. I tried to be sponsored by them. I hit up Z-Man. Never heard back from them. So if you guys want to, like, you know, send my videos to Z-Man and be like, yo, sponsor this guy, do it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we're going to share you today's Bible verse, which comes from Psalm 119, verse 114. And it says, you are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. And this just shows us that our hope is in the word of God. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. And I hope that can encourage some of y'all today. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know.